ברוך אתה ה' אלוהינו מלך העולם שהכל נהיה בדברו. Many people divide events into two different camps, what is sacred and what is profane. Not only theologians and religious thinkers, even I think primitive man did that as well. What is secular and what is sacred or religious. And our usual reaction to these things is that the secular person is always faced with uncertainty. because he believes that chance rules in this world, so he does not know what is going to happen. It leads to a lot of insecurity. On the other hand, the religious person is in the hands of God. He knows exactly what God wants of him. In the Jewish tradition, you know, you get up in the morning, you have to say your prayers. You know which foods you can eat, which you cannot eat. Everything is regulated for you. There is no uncertainty. To the contrary, you know exactly what is expected of you. I remember when I was a chaplain in a hospital in the city of New York, I used to go to the nurses' station and they would give me a list of Jewish patients that wanted to be visited by a rabbi. I went into a room and spoke to a Jewish patient, and as I was walking out, I saw who, a person who was certainly Jewish, he had a kippah on his head, he was covered totally up to his neck except for his beard that, was, that could be seen on top. I was sure he was Jewish. I asked him, how are you doing? How are you doing? He says, I'm about to undergo surgery in a few minutes. He feels fine, fine. I said, hello, good luck, the best to you. And as I w- walked out, I was wondering, how come this gentleman hadn't solicited, hadn't asked that the rabbi see him also? Maybe he felt well with himself. What does he need a rabbi? He was in the hands of God, not in the hands of the surgeon. The surgeon was merely the emissary of God. God was his friend. God was certainly going to be at his bedside. Nothing could happen to him. So he felt certain, at least this was the impression that I got from him. I have a friend who is a rabbi. He loves to travel, loves to take long plane trips. In my case, I don't know if the pilot knows it, but I... pilot the plane together with him because every little turn I'm very sensitive to when there is a little turbulence I certainly feel it don't I feel secure maybe my faith isn't that deep that I feel insecure I usually love to travel together with a child because I figure you know nothing is going to happen to this child the child is innocent so I will piggyback on the child and nothing will happen to me as well But I remember reading Rabbi Soloveitchik on this issue, and he said something altogether different. He said that the real person of faith is confronted with a lot of uncertainty. Do you believe in God? You do. Do you believe in God with the same intensity every day? Or aren't there moments when there are doubts in your mind? Religion doesn't offer answers. Answers are offered by these preachers Sunday mornings in the mega churches. They have ways how you have to behave in every aspect of life. But the real religious person knows that this world is filled with uncertainty, uncertainty also with dilemmas. There's a book in the Bible, the book of Eof, jo- Job in English. There is no answer in Job to his suffering. There is no answer to all the disasters that happen really in his life. It is a reflection. It is thinking about it. And the more you think about it, maybe the closer you can come to some understanding of it. But knowing that the full understanding is like a horizon. You get closer to it, but the horizon keeps on going further away. I think that the religious experience is a life experience of doubt, of certainty, of different moments in life. Times when you feel sure about things and fi- times when you feel abandoned. Times when you feel the presence of God and times when you feel that God is really hiding his presence. Well, you and your family, make sure that you're always present for your children, for your friends. And if there's a certain amount of uncertainty in your relationship, remember that is only a passing phase because life is like that. It isn't uniform. It has its abysses. It has ups and downs. But in the long time, if you persist, you will be a happier person. Music